Hello bro, it's Pedro. It's now Korea is a really busy time because it's coming to Chuseok. I'm not sure you guys already know, Chuseok is one of the biggest holiday like Seoul in Korea. Actually, we are not going to take a rest during one day. It's a couple of days. In this year, we're gonna take a rest during five days. Actually, Chuseok is like Thanksgiving day in United States. So what we do during Chuseok, every brother's gathering to mow the grass in grave. Yeah, only male brothers, not female. Actually, in Korea culture, after some of the family passed away, we bury in the grave. If it is a big family, there are a lot of graves. Normally, they buy small mountain and bury there. And then in Chuseok, we moved to grandfather's home. If grandfather passed away, we moved to elder brothers of my father. We call, we go to Kunjit. Kunjit means big house. Nowadays, many people don't have big family, so they just stay where they are living, not go to Kunjit. So what we do, what we do during Chuseok, there's no many special things. Gathering, chatting together, and cooking together, eating, drinking. So we are talking what happened during one year. Uh, actually half a year because there's other biggest holiday named this horror. I will talk about her when it's coming. And if you get married, you stay in your parents' home until morning. After having lunch, you go to parents of your wife. As I mentioned before, if all the parents passed away, they just staying where they living now. During Chuseok, stores is closed. It means restaurants will be closed as well. When I was young, none of Koreans have traveled during Chuseok because every restaurant was closed. It means there's no place to eat at all. But nowadays, many people who run their own business close their store for just one day or not going to get closed during Chuseok. So during Chuseok, there are so, so many cars on the road. It means you're gonna stop on the road. Mostly Kunjit is located in countryside. When the Chuseok is finished, everyone try to get back to Seoul or big city. So, everyone is out to road at the same time. For example, uh, from Seoul to Busan, from top to bottom, it takes about normally 7 hours, but during Chuseok, 20 hours. And every year, it's not the same day, because we count holiday with lunar calendar. I think every oriental countries have their own lunar calendar, like Korea. So, if you guys want to check Chuseok, you have to check it with Korea calendar. And food is really oily. After finishing holiday, you can check you already gained weight. 2 or 3 kilograms is normal, man. So, is there anybody who is going to stay during Chuseok in Korea? Yesterday, I just popped my head thinking like, it's one of my foreign friends who is get back to the United States already, uh, told me he felt a bit lonely because, you know, Everyone was out of town. So that's why I made this video. Why don't you guys go to some place? I'm gonna recommend you guys about place open during Chuseok. What about going to Hangul Minsokchon? It's Korean folk village something? You can feel totally traditional Korean culture. You can see how Koreans have lived in the past. What about going to Gyeongbuk Palace? Gyeongbuk Palace is located in Seoul, so you can go by subway. And then, right check, it is free to enter Gyeongbuk Palace during Chuseok. So, there is one thing I really recommend you guys. There's a couple of shops, which is you can rent uh, Hanbok. Hanbok is Korean traditional clothes. And then you can take a picture in Gyeongbuk Palace wearing Hanbok. So, I think it's a really nice experience. Everend is like a music park. Everland is the uh, most biggest amusement park in the Korea. I think during Chuseok, they are going to do lots of events as well. But you guys have to know, there will be so many people. And Bukchon Hanung Maul, it's like a small town. There's lots of Korean style house. So it's called Hanok and Yongsan War Memorial. I'm not sure you guys already know, Korea, Korea is like a country which is has a lot of tragic history. So if you want to know more about Korea, it will be a nice choice. 
maybe it takes about two or three hours. And then, I just heard for the first time a couple of days ago, there are K-pop star street in Cheongdan. As you can guess, you can see lots of store about K-pop stars. So you can buy something and you can enjoy something about K-pop stars you like. But I never been there. Lastly, I think there are some guys who are curious about me. So my name is Pedro. I am uploading some videos about world travel and learning foreign language and motivations. Actually, I have traveled around the world for two years and I learned foreign language by myself. I can speak English and Spanish and Indonesian and I'm Korean. I think so I'm not good at speak, but I really want to share my stories for learning foreign language myself. And then now I'm preparing to be a lecturer about motivation. It is about to publish my book soon. Every video includes subtitles in four languages. So I'm asking you guys to watch my videos. Welcome to Pedro TV channels. Any guys who stayed in Korea during Chuseok or Seoul like Big Holiday? If you have some story, could you let me know please? Thank you for watching videos. It's Pedro.